you said something that we hear a lot. Like, I'm not changing software. It's too hard. The migration is too disruptive. Like, right? A lot of people stick with software that they're not happy with because Why? it's just painful to switch because it's a lot of data. It's a lot of, you're so busy year round now, you know, because you're doing planning. Can you talk a little bit about how the process was to move over and whether that was with your account executive or was it, were there templates, were there tools to help that migration and ease a little bit of the pain? How was that process? So yes, we did have an agent help us, mm -hmm. right? From the software company. So that was very helpful because then they help you. So we worked with them to draw up a plan, like an onboarding plan. And we put mm -hmm. timelines and they, and then we allocated the team members to some of the tasks. That was one other thing that I found very, very critical for buy-in involving the team early, my team early from the start when we're deciding the must-haves of each system and mm -hmm. for the demos we set in the demos as a team so by the time we came to implementing the software each one already knew this is my area i need to be in charge of this so, so there was like a champion for each section so we worked using that template that we had created and we also had a, a lot of checklists that we worked off against so for example on our excel spreadsheet we needed to make sure that the naming convention that we have on the Excel spreadsheet was carried on to the new software. Mm -hmm. And in the past, we spend a lot of time. So if I give you an example, if a couple is filing married filing jointly, the tax return is like the taxpayer's name, whether it's the husband and then the wife is the spouse. So we needed to align that naming convention to say the tax return name is also going to be the account name in the new software. So that when you're searching, you don't spend a lot of time saying, mm -hmm. okay, the tax return says Mark, but then the account says Judy. But no, you know, Judy and Mark are filing together. So you might, it's better for you to have both the account name and the tax re return name being Mark. So we had to spend a lot of time doing that. And our checklist helped us to keep track of each of those things. 